Marriage nowadays is less influenced by religion, which means individuals may find it easier to part ways as they no longer feel bound by religious obligations. Divorce is no longer viewed as shameful and is even encouraged in today's society. The traditional marriage vows, once considered sacred, are often recited without a genuine commitment to keeping them, as many women break them at the first sight of a potentially better partner. Marriage is inherently risky, and divorce represents the dark side of this institution. In this discussion, we won't focus on how divorce affects marriages. Instead, we'll delve into the inner workings of the divorce court system and how it impacts men. Unfortunately, men often find themselves unsupported during this challenging process, and societal norms might reinforce this lack of support based on traditional gender roles. The harsh reality of divorce. It's a harsh reality that many assume men are at fault in divorce cases. Even though statistics reveal that wives initiate 75% of divorces, the burden of blame typically falls on the husband's shoulders. Even if a wife openly commits adultery, the husband might still be condemned for not being good enough. This is further exacerbated by the influence of feminism, which has played a role in increasing the divorce rate. Divorced men often struggle to maintain communication with their children, as courts frequently favor mothers in custody decisions. Even when fathers are granted time with their children, ex-wives may influence the children's perception of their fathers negatively. Some may even encourage children to refer to their new husbands as dad. Such actions often go unpunished. Divorced men often face financial losses, as husbands typically earn more than their wives. Many wives are financially dependent on their husbands, which can result in significant financial disparities during divorce. Ex-husbands may lose not only their family, but also their homes, children, and substantial assets. Considering all these challenges, it's crucial to understand divorce from a man's perspective. Even if they manage to find another spouse, the fear of enduring another divorce can deter men from fully trusting women again. American divorce laws, from a male perspective, appear unfair. Family courts have been accused of bias against men for over a century. Men are often treated as little more than ATMs, while women may be seen as victims deserving of protection. Regarding prenuptial agreements, many men report that such agreements rarely hold up in court. Even when prenups explicitly state they were not signed under duress, unscrupulous women sometimes attempt to nullify them using various tactics, effectively endangering men's assets. In family court, women can make claims without verification, and even when falsehoods are exposed, the court may not take action. Lying under oath is often overlooked, especially for women. Males, on the other hand, frequently experience a severe lack of trust in court proceedings. Courts may treat women with undue favor, awarding them a significant portion of assets, income, and custody. True story. Is this an exaggeration? The real experiences of men in divorce court paint a bleak picture. Prolonged legal battles, asset loss, and limited access to their own children are all too common outcomes of divorce. These experiences, like your brother's, can be devastating and long-lasting. Allow me to present my brother's ongoing saga of a four-year divorce as evidence. The sheer injustice of it all is jaw-dropping. First, let's start with the fact that she cleaned out the marital coffers, seizing 100% of their shared possessions and offloading them for a pittance. Not to stop there, she even laid claim to items my brother owned before the marriage, commanding the entire proceeds. Now, on the financial front, she's not holding back. To this day, she slices off 55% of his income, leaving him to pick up the shattered pieces of his financial life. And the most heartbreaking part, my brother hasn't laid eyes on his kids in four long years. His quest to find them required enlisting a private investigator. So, no, this isn't an exaggeration. It's the bitter reality of a system that often leaves men feeling like they're walking a perpetual tightrope in divorce court. The heart-wrenching part. Their marriage lasted a mere two years. What could my brother possibly have done to deserve this living nightmare? Well, his crime was quite simple. He grew weary of her financial recklessness 
dragging them deeper into debt with each passing day. His plea for fiscal responsibility fell on deaf ears, and he had no choice but to request a divorce. He wasn't abusive, nor was he a bad person. It was her $50,000 debt spree in just two years that drove him to his breaking point. And guess who got to shoulder that colossal debt? You guessed it, him. Adding to this already bewildering situation, she had a job that paid double his salary, but she impulsively quit. Yet the court operates on a different set of rules based on gender. Her earning potential, despite quitting a high-paying job, was considered zero. In stark contrast, his income, despite experiencing a temporary rise, was pegged at a higher level. His child support payments were calculated at 30% of his present income, which amounted to a staggering 50% of what he currently earns. No, I'm not exaggerating. This is the disturbing reality of the US legal system, where morality and fairness often take a backseat. My brother's ex-wife didn't even have legal representation during the divorce proceedings, while he hired a top-rated attorney and still ended up devastated, paying substantial sums to the lawyer every six months. The injustice inflicted on my brother has left many men in our circle deeply outraged, to the point where they've sworn off dating altogether. They're collectively planning their exit from this profoundly floyd country, where, for men, the situation feels like a cruel joke. If you identify as a man, running from here seems like the most rational choice. So dire is the situation that my brother sought therapy to deal with the trauma stemming from his divorce. Even his therapist, empathizing with his plight, is now preparing to leave the country with him. The therapist's revelation that he's treating nearly 20 men with eerily similar stories of lost possessions, denied visitation with their children, and substantial post-divorce financial burdens only further highlights the pervasive issues men face. In desperation, we brainstormed methods to date and marry in the US without suffering these severe consequences. To our dismay, we couldn't find a single strategy to protect ourselves within the system. When your own therapist shares your desire to flee this place, it becomes abundantly clear just how deeply floyd the situation is. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be the first to know when my new video drops. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.